What's popping, all right, fam? All right, ball checking in here. And today, we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, salute notification game. Hit that like button before the video even start. Y'all the real art right, fam. Salute. Anyway, up first, we got that boy Rollo, Jeezy, and got it. Okay, so we all know Rollo. Rollo just signed with that boy Gucci. Now, outside of being an artist, a lot of people rock with Rollo because they say Rollo a real nigga. They say Rollo is a real person. He gonna speak his mind. He gonna say whatever he feeling at the moment. And that's what Rollo been doing in these past interviews lately. We all heard him in the Buzz War interview where he said Jesus is a fuck nigga. That's why he don't rock with him. Now, it seems that he wasn't done speaking on that boy Jesus just yet because he had an interview with This Is 50 where he spoke on him and that boy Yo got it. Saying now, a whole generation of say, right, man. Right. So I just now I know I can't listen to him because I know for a fact none of them were moving no bricks, and I know where they come with because it come with jail, it come with jail of hell, jail of death. Right. So when you say none of them was moving bricks, is it, you talking Jeezy? Everybody's talking the dope shit. They wasn't doing that. Is that what you're saying? It's impossible. It's almost <laughs> impossible. To sell drugs for that long period of time and rap about selling it. Right. And not get caught. That's true. Like, I did interviews talking about drugs and them folk been on my ass. I had to make sure I don't sell no drugs. Exactly. Know? Right. So, like, it's impossible for you to, it's just impossible for you to be doing something for a long period of time. Like, you could cheat on your girl for a long time, but eventually, eventually. it going to catch up with you because everything in the dog comes the to light. the light. Right. Whether you know it or not. Right. So, like, if you was doing this for this long, we'll have some kind of um, pictures on the internet saying you got incarcerated for this amount of drugs. Or, like, like they do me. They always go on my pictures and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Rollo was locked up for this. Rollo was locked up for that. So, like, right. it's just impossible. So, I just encourage the kids and stuff. Don't even listen to that type. Okay, so Rollo basically saying that Jesus and Yo Gotti setting the next generation up for failure with their music. He's saying their music is poisonous. He also said that these guys not moving the real bricks. They faking it. They can't be moving bricks because they haven't got jammed up behind it yet. Rollo, let's take it back, bro. Do you remember last year when you spoke on the Shy Glizzy and Black Youngster situation? You did tons of interviews, but all the headlines coming from those interviews was about another artist. All the headlines the blogs promoted was you speaking on another artist. And you were speaking the truth in those interviews, speaking facts, telling what went on with your life, your childhood. You had a good story to tell. But the blogs was only pushing the videos and the part where you were speaking on another artist. And it made you mad because I remember the post. You were saying to yourself, I done did all this, spoke the truth in these interviews, talked about my music. But the main thing being posted is something talking about another artist. Now, you say I almost lost myself in this rap shit. I damn near told on my damn self in interviews. I gave y'all the truth and y'all still didn't believe it. Black people ain't gonna make it following lies. I sacrificed my freedom to open y'all eyes. Word to my brother, future. 2017, I'm changing lives, starting with mine. Please don't ask me about no motherfucking dog food. I ain't doing no more interviews about none of these rap niggas. Fuck them. I told you everything I could tell you. I'm going to forever motivate all the real ones. I'm going to help y'all with anything I can help y'all with. I'm here to do it. I'm trying to get a billion dollars out this shit. Okay, Rollo, get back to this, bro, because a lot of this stuff being said in these interviews is starting to outshine your music, fam. A lot of them are do the, starting to do the same thing they was doing last year, putting the focus on you speaking on another artist, and you seen the direction that went. I understand you want to speak your mind and speak the facts about these artists claiming to be doing this, but they really haven't been doing it, and you've been doing it for real, but it's starting to outshine your music it's starting to outshine rollo the artist and you don't want that you don't want the antics to outshine your music and you as a artist it's like what happened a few months ago it's starting to happen again the blogs are picking up on what you're saying about the other artists fam now usually when artists get interviewed they get asked about another artist they keep it simple they keep it short they just say i don't rock with him plain and simple they don't go into details look at gucci Anytime they ask him about Walker, he don't go into details. He just say, hey, we ain't speaking. Because if you go on an interview speaking about another artist, the interview went from being about you to being about that other person and you don't want that. So Rollo, stay focused and make sure that the interview is primarily about you as an artist and your story and your music. 
I need y'all to comment down below. What do you think about this whole situation? Also, comment down below. What change do you think Rollo need to make? Up next, we got that boy Future and that boy Rocco. Now, yesterday, that boy Future spoke out on the whole situation that going on between him and Rocco. And he had some choice words for Rocco. Uh, a new album this week. Are you doing this because of Rocco? No way in the fuck am I doing that for him. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Shit don't get took care of. We working, we richer than ever. You know what I'm saying? When niggas go broke, they do dumb shit. So, I don't know what's going on. But at the end of the day, we making hits. We making history. You nigga want to be a part of history. You got to do something tag along. So, I think that's what it is. Tag along, nigga. Now, after that video started going viral, people were sitting back waiting on Rocco to respond because he had put up a tweet saying, coming soon, stay tuned. Now, he finally responded the day he said, truth be told, I've always believed in little bro. That's why I signed him. When I post his stuff on my page, it's out of genuine support. No fun and shit. I don't even rock like that. Future and I could have sat down like men and settled this easily ages ago. Not sure what his reasons were, but I respect it. Only reason it's even a lawsuit in place is because he said, let the lawyers handle it. I'm not out here trying to take advantage of anyone. All I want is my percentage we agreed upon. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand he feels the way hell. I would too if I was sued. I'm not mad at him for being mad at me. If it's ever a time when he wants to sit down like a man, I'm with it. But on some real shit, homie works hard and is very talented and deserve all the success. I will always support my boy regardless. Pre-order his album, The Done. Everybody started saying, man, that boy Rocco a real nigga, bro, started tagging Future. Come on, man, let's get it squashed. Future responded immediately. You posted because I'm the shit, nigga. On game, though, you're going to die fake, nigga. You embrace me as a brother at my worst and try to play me. I ain't talked to you in years, nigga. Ain't no nigga on earth going to take shit with consequences. Judge or no judge, nigga. You a con artist. Basically, Future saying that boy Rocco couldn't him out of some money, but you got Rocco saying he only want the percentage they agreed upon. So it will come to the light soon. Who telling the truth? Who screwed who out of some money? Who was the snake in the situation? But if all this stated in the contract that you signed and agreed upon, ain't too much to be said about it. But don't be looking for no reunion soon because Future ain't got no love for the other side, man. He really hate that boy Rocco right now, bro. I need y'all to comment down below. What do you think about this whole situation? Also, comment down below who you think really in the wrong. Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also, press that bell beside it so you get notification anytime I drop a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG at RelatableUpBall. Salute to y'all, man. We're on that 100K grind. Upball. Gone.